Ulan Z just came out with their very new flexible tripod. Now this is the MT68 flexible tripod. Twist it or turn it is an incredibly flexible and versatile tripod that you can mount in places with just a normal tripod can. The Sonar just comes with one, but three extra mounts for accessories such as lights and microphone. And on the board head is the new claw quick release system for an even quicker setup. Is this flexible tripod going to replace what you already have? Let's break it down and find out. This tripod actually comes in two different versions. You have the F38 mounting base and of course this quick release, quick claw quick release version. So if you look up close, you have a button at the front and you have the button at the back. So to open it, all you have to do is just press it this way and it actually comes out. So when we look inside the mechanics up close, you can see there's this uh, spring which holds everything in place. And when we take a look at the uh, base, you can see there's this very nice texture over here, a perforated design, so that the cam camera does not slip out. The camera does not slip out. Okay, here I have is my Sony ZV-1. So let's attach it. So one thing that I also love is that you, you do not need other things to be able to screw this in. You can either use a coin or just simply turn it and the plate goes in. So all I have to do is just simply and press it to release. So another interesting feature of this claw quick release is that at the side, you can see there's this knob over here. So once I loosen it, I can basically just turn it and pan or turn around to get a 360 degree shot without actually affecting the Y axis. Is it X or Y? So you can see now it's pretty loose. When I tighten it, it actually locks in place. Of course, at the bottom, you have a standard ball head, which you can just turn this big knob to be able to change from landscape to portrait mode. Ta-da! Of course, we need to talk about its feet. Now, you can look up close. The feet is made out of this very interesting material, which is not your regular flexible tripod. Let's mount it up on this vertical pole to see how it looks once it's mounted. Alright, and it so happens that I also have my Joby with me. Now, this Joby Gorilla Pod is, of course, the smaller of its uh, series. But what about my Ulanzi MT11 Flexible Octopus Tripod? Of course, I have it. You can clearly see that the MT68 covers a, little, a lot more surface compared with the Joby and the Ulanzi MT11. The thing I like most about this MT68 tripod is that it can mount multiple accessories. At the side, there's this cold shoe mount over here. One. And at the legs, you can see there are actually these holes over here which are actually quarter inch screw mounts. One, two, three. So you have a total of about four different places you can mount accessories. But you will definitely need one of these uh, arms which you can screw in over here. Okay, and if you have one of these lights lying around, this is the Telecine RGB or LED light. And you have the quarter inch screw adapter base here. And if you have one of these other arms lying around, you can just attach it on the opposing side. And of course, the side, the Koshu mount. And of course, missing is the camera. And here you have one very complete setup. Okay, the legs are also very flexible. You can actually just hold it this way. Or even for, for me, I would turn the legs, twist the legs. And here we go. So this is actually where we actually shot that particular scene behind here. All right, so you roughly get what this tripod can do. Let's head back to home studio. Do we will talk about something such as specification and who this tripod might be exactly for. In case you're wondering if there's going to be an unboxing segment, there won't be. When I got an MT68, it comes with this retail box. And when we open it inside, you can see it's rather straightforward. So let's move on straight to its specifications. For its length, the MT68 measures about 22 cm or about 8.7 inches. As for its weight, it comes in at about 708 grams or about 9.8 ounces. But I think that excludes the claw quick release system. The claw. Sounds like a movie from the 90s. The claw is basically this upper part of the quick release system. And with it together, it does feel a little bit more towards the 400 grams range. Even though it feels a little bit heavier than my MT11, 
is of a more premium quality and does not feel lopsided. But how much weight can it hold? It can hold up to about 3 kilograms of weight or about 105 ounces. Basically, almost anything you can throw at it with even accessories attached. Moving on to its material, it's made out of quite a few different sections with different materials. If you look at the top, at the head itself, it's made out of this high aluminum alloy. And at its base, you can see that it has this perforated rubber design, which is really useful as things will not slip out. Now moving to a little bit more towards the middle of the tripod, it has this standard ABS plastic, which is found in most Ulanzi products. And moving down to my favorite section is actually its legs. It's a little unique as it has this interesting bounce once I try to squeeze on it. This material has I have never seen in Ulanzi products before. It basically is an elastic kind of rubber, which is really nice to hold. At its feet, it has these uh, lines over here, which basically means that it's almost impossible for it to slip once you have it down on the surface which is really good as sometimes the surface might be a little bit slippery and due to this weight, it might shift a little. Also, if you have not noticed, once I open it up, it has this sound over here. I don't know about you, some might find it irritating or if let's say you're in a quiet environment, it might not be that discreet, but it does feel, it does sound a bit therapeutic. Okay, I got to stop. Now let's talk a little bit more about his forehead compared with what I already have. Now this is the Ulanzi MP11 and of course the Joby which you guys saw. And just take a listen towards how the ball head sounds once I turn it. You can hear it's a little bit rough. A little bit smoother. And of course the M uh, MT68. You can hear it's really smooth. It does not feel dry or jerky at all, which is obviously where its premium quality shines. So how much does it cost? It comes here at 49 USD for both the F38 version and the claw version. Now that we have the nerdy details out of the way, let's talk about its pros and cons. What are they? Let's first start with its negative. Number one is that it does not come with a phone holder. If you want to mount a mobile phone, you'll definitely have to get one of these uh, phone holders over here to be able to mount your mobile phones. And closely linked up to this is our second con, which is its core system is not removable. If you can take a look up close, you can see that this thing is already attached and there's no way for you to remove it. Or at least I have not found a way to. So it's really important to decide which quick release system you want to go for, the core one or the F38 one. Now the last con is a small one. If you can look up close, you can see that the knob is rather big compared with my MT11 or the Joby one which are significantly smaller. Now this creates a problem as sometimes once I put this into my bag, this awkwardly large shape of the knob does stand out and it finds itself being stuck somewhere. But one thing interesting about it is that it does have this mechanism over here. I can actually pull this thing out and turn it and it actually mag magnetizes once I release it. At the moment, I have not found what this thing is for, but this is just something to take note. Now let's move on to its positives. The first one is the locking mechanism on its ball head. At the back over here, you push it a little and the front will extrude. And all you have to do is just flip it to the right. And there you go, the head or the base plate does not come off. The second pro is that it has micro adjustments. Now not only at the top, you can actually have this panning lock. You have this cold shoe mount over here which is actually adjustable. You can turn it in a different direction to be able to suit you. Next is there's a really good grip and it's very nice to hold. Now compared with my Joby over here, you can see once I hold it, it feels very rough. And of course, the legs come off really easily. Moving on to something better, the MT11. The grip does feel very small. While I put it next to my MT68, the MT68 feels much better as it has a larger grip. So it's definitely a pro if you are planning to use this for vlogging. Last but not least is of course it's MMO. Multiple mounting option. You have a total of about 4, which is really more than you need. Personally, 2 is enough for me. But for all those who want to mount multiple accessories and really make this a huge setup, this is definitely a pro. So now the big question, who is this tripod for? For all those who own the Ulanzi MT11 or other Joby Gorilla Pods, this thing can do all that those can and much more. 
The NT68 is extremely versatile and it can wrap around most straight objects such as handrails, bars or even tree branches. But also unique angles that a normal tripod can't. And with its larger surface area, it can definitely hold much better than its predecessors. For all those vloggers out there, this is also a definitely a must-have as it's really very comfortable to hold over a period of time. Above its elastic rubber grip, you also have multiple options for mounting accessories. Meaning, it will never be an either or situation. You can mount all of them. So, what do you guys think about Ulanzi's new flexible tripod? Are you planning to get one? Leave me down in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, do remember to check out my playlist over here, which I cover other camera accessories. If not, see you guys in the next video.